somebody. Stop by, stop by the house. You know, Robbie. I'm glad that you are somebody I know. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't go anywhere yet. What do you mean don't go anywhere yet? Exactly what the fuck I mean. I don't go anywhere yet. Hey, what for? Tell me. Till we finish our investigation. Investigation? There ain't matter of no fact, have a seat. Have a seat matter, on the curb. Matter of fact, I was out there laying. Have a seat on the curb. You're, you're not listening to me. Have a seat. Hey, have a seat on the curb. I'm gonna look for my stuff, young man. All right, turn around. For Come on now, wait a minute. Hey, relax. What are you doing? Hey. Hey. You're gonna have a seat. Sit down. I'll try to have a seat if you let go of me. You not. You don't hold me. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer and former sheriff's deputy. Today, we're going to take a look at the Dickinson Police Department located in the state of Texas. Today's incident is going to highlight an elderly homeless man who was riding his bicycle but was struck by a vehicle. Um, the police showed up on scene and this is what happened. Show me out on that auto pit. I said I was. You all right? We had a little hit to get together. He'd be stubborn by getting checked out, but he said he's all right. I'm all right. So we're just. You all right? I told him I want to take no, it down. No, I ain't all right. I need about a, about a million dollars, and then I'll be all right. Well, you ain't getting that, so. Yeah. Well, no shit. I'm trying to get him. I, I, he's always. You go, you my go shit, ahead so. and get that. I want to get you down. I got that, and you know, I can put that motherfucker on. Okay. Even though it's a complicated son of a bitch. Yeah. All right. Well, so what do you want to do? I'm take it. Back. 63, he's not injured. No, I'm going to see it. Uh, can, you, uh, can you run Michael Scurlock? The house, you know where well, I live. You know, you didn't do that on purpose. No, sir. 63, did you get my last transmission? Stop by, stop by the house. You know where I be. I'm glad that you are somebody I know. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't go anywhere yet. What do you mean, don't go anywhere yet? Exactly what the fuck I mean. I said, don't go anywhere yet. Hey, what the fuck is it ever I've done? I was. What? What happened? He, he, uh, he hit me accidentally. Right EMS is not needed. I was looking that way to go, oh, and I was starting to ease out, and the next time I see a flash in front of him, he goes, I was worried know, about fuck on flat. And now, yeah, I, I ain't worried about it flat. Look at that fucking wheel. Wee! Where were you driving? I got fixed a flat in that son of a bitch. And it ain't supposed to fix a of a car. It adheres the uh, tube to the tire. And that son of a bitch was leaking down. Boom, bang. All right, am I through? No. What have I got to do? You got to wait here. What for? Tell me. Till we finish our investigation. Investigation? There ain't matter of no fact, have a seat. Have a seat matter, on the curb. Matter of fact, I was out there laying. Have a seat on the curb. You're, you're not listening to me. Have a seat That's on the curb. That's what you're supposed to do. Have a seat I, on the curb. I hit, she hit me. I mean, he hit me. And I didn't want I thought he saw me. Hey, have a seat on the curb. I'm gonna look for my stuff, young man. All right, turn around. For Come on now, wait a minute. Hey, relax. What are you doing? Hey, hey. You're gonna have a seat. Sit down. I'll try to have a seat if you let go of me. You not? You don't hold me. Put your hands behind your back. Six to three, go ahead, rolling, uh, rolling animals. <clears throat> so we can see what happened. And here's the follow up to that. He was indicted. Um, the officer, the sergeant, uh, Sergeant Kinsley uh, is his name. Going to read a little bit of this article. It states in their indictment. Grand jurors found Kinsley caused Skurlock's body and head to strike the ground. 
and that Kinsley failed to get D the Dickerson resident medical care despite having ample opportunity to do so. He had plenty of time to get this man treatment. Uh, it goes on to say they also determined Kinsley knowingly arrested, detained, and mistreated Scurlock in an unlawful manner. When medical personnel arrived, Kinsley did not notify them that Scurlock appeared to lose consciousness. Kinsley also did not seek follow-up care for Scurlock. It can be seen in the video that we're about to watch him complaining of pain and dizziness. Let's continue watching and you guys be the judge. You got a car, don't you? A car for what? To get me home. No, I don't have a car to get you home with. Well, come on. Mr. Scarlock, you had a right to remain silent. You had a right to a lawyer. You had a right to have a lawyer present in any interview with the place or not. What for? You had a right to terminate any interview at any time. <clears throat> you don't have to make a statement, but I must warn you, any statement you make can and will be used against you. You're charged with public intoxication. I'm going to set a bond of 581. Can you make bonds, sir? I think that is enough. Yeah, yeah. What are you going to do? What are we doing? Oh, he's got oh, oh. he he the last on his head. Okay, uh, payment plan or this? Yeah, payment plan. Okay. Oh, how am I here? You got arrested for public intoxication yesterday. I got beat on this today. Having signed that, fill that out. If it has any information, we'll go from there. Man, I ain't got no way out of here. No, you're getting out. You're getting out. Sign right here for me. Oh, God. Let me get in one of the best you can. Man, I can't. I can't see. Huh? I can't see. How do I do that? Yeah. Right here. Sign your name the best you can. Okay. Sit right there on the bench for me. I think this one got, um, I think this is. God, my. That got. Ah! Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, hey, you're going to have to be quiet. I see that. You're going to have to be quiet right after this. Man. Destiny. Come on. The judge is out here. <laughs> no. Is that right there? As we see, his condition continued to decline while he was inside the jail. For them to believe he was intoxicated is, is just being a moron at this point. How can you not see that this guy's been here almost a full day, but yet you believe he's still intoxicated? Alcohol is not going to last that long. A full day, he would have slept that portion of it off and he should be back to normal. But yet, this guy cannot stand. He's falling all over the place. He's telling you, I can't see. When they, If you listen carefully to the video, when he was asked to sign the paper, he said, I cannot see. He also complained of being in pain. But no one put two and two together to stop and think maybe something more is happening here. Let's take a look back at the actual scene from a different officer's body cam. What, uh, we need him now. 63, go ahead, roll him. Is he out? Huh? Is he out?
You know his name? Michael Scrollock, I believe. Is he drunk? Huh? Is he drunk? I don't know. I tried to get him to sit down because it looked like he was going to walk away. He wouldn't do it, so then I told him to put your hands behind your back and start resisting. Let me get his information so I can get him out of here. You good holding him? You want some gloves or something? Uh, I mean, I already touched him. I got some gloves. So at the end of all of this, what happened was Mr. Skurlock, the man in the video, ultimately spent two weeks in intensive care with a brain bleed. Um, he died December 2022, nine months after his injury, but his death certificate lists Parkinson's disease as a cause. His sister, however, who's a former nurse, stated that before his arrest, he never showed any signs of Parkinson's. Sergeant Michael Kinsley faces a felony charge of intentional, intentional injury to an elderly person and a misdemeanor charge of official oppression. The felony charge is punishable by up to 10 years in prison, while the misdemeanor carries a maximum penalty of one year in jail. Kinsley has been placed on administrative leave without pay, effective immediately. Uh, Dickinson police chief stated that if he is found guilty, he would lose his license, but they have not stated if he's not found guilty, what move would they make from that point? First, let me say this. The charges that were brought against the former sergeant, former Dickinson police sergeant was, was absolute BS. This should be murder. Uh, because of your aggression, which he had from the very start of the video, when uh, Scurlock, Mr. Scurlock, um, asked him, hey, why do I have to say? And then he responds with such aggression. He was upset about something from the start. He was being a tyrant from the time he showed up on scene. No crime had ever been committed. So his aggression is noted in this video. Then he takes it a step further, 10 steps further, grabs Mr. Scurlock, throws him to the ground, which ultimately is the reason why he passes away. And they only charge him with a crime that he can get a maximum max max time 10 to 11 years which he probably won't even serve that time this is policing in america this is why we record and this is why we got to start fighting back because if this is not enough to show you it's getting worse by the day i don't know what i don't know what is with that being said we the people university signing off Welcome to The Goat Debate, the premier online sports debate show where engaging discussions and thrilling debates unfold as we determine who is the greatest of all time in every sport. I am your host, Abaya Israel, joined by my two co-hosts, Coach Scott and Coach J.O. Tune into our YouTube and Facebook channels to catch our reactions and coverage of the biggest games and the latest news. Don't miss out on your chance to participate in the action. Join us every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for The GOAT Debate, where you, the viewer, can call in and share your thoughts on who deserves the title of the GOAT. Be sure to mark your calendars. Every Monday, we upload 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, and we go live every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to subscribe, call in, and participate. Come and be a part of the conversation.